good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE Elite action figure set on the WWE Elite Collection Top Picks 2023 set. Now, honestly, I feel like we get a Top Pick set every, like, four months or something like that. It used to be, you know, I thought it was, like, one set per year, but then it kind of turned into, like, one set per quarter. Like, we're getting, I think the Elite Top Pick sets have been around since 2017, 2018, and maybe 2018. And it's only been, what, five years since then? But we have have like eight or nine sets i think since then need to do a ranking on all those or something i think that would be pretty cool ranking every top picks elite so far usually they're bangers we've had some duds here and there but i'm actually excited for this full wave i think it's going to actually have some very enticing and good figures in it you guys know that usually it's kind of like a best hits of some elites it's a way to change up some gear change up some deco repaint an existing elite or a recent elite and then throw it back out there and keep top talents that people are going to want in figure form on the shelf so, you know, it's to keep your John Cena's, to keep your Roman Reigns, to keep your Rey Mysterio's on the shelf because they are the highest sellers. They are the ones that people want the most. They have the best reach. And that's no different with this set here today, guys. In this set, we have Ronda Rousey, John Cena, and Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley elites are pretty sought after. John Cena speaks for itself. He has a wide net range. Everybody knows who he is. And then Ronda Rousey, another household name. And I do believe this is the first ever women's top picks elite. So Ronda Rousey had the first female ultimate. She has the first female top talents. I mean, she She's got a great track record, and I'm excited to dive into this figure, man. So, up first in this set, we do have Bobby Lashley. Now, I am excited that they went with the red gear. I think he looks incredible. New WWE Championship. We got the red tights in here. Now, I mean, this is the exact same figure for a third time, and we'll get into all those with the comparisons, but I am glad to see the red gear for Bobby Lashley. I like it a lot more than just, you know, another traditional black attire. I like the red. I want to see the white and black gear, though. Next up is a figure that I am so excited for, man. You guys know that I am the biggest John Cena guy you you'll find, at least in this dimension, and this John Cena is great. This is a gear I've been wanting. Now I don't have to make it in custom form. I have it officially from Mattel. I think it looks great. It's kind of a repaint of the Elite 95. This is also a repaint of the Elite 95. So we have a repaint of Elite 95 Lashley slash Elite 89 Lashley. We have a repaint slash redo of the Elite 95 John Cena. And then lastly, we have, I guess you could call this like the Elite 98 Ronda, but it's practically the ultimate edition. I mean, it probably, the upper torso probably doesn't have the gimmick in the shoulders where you can switch it but this is probably the Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey just repurposed. But this looks great. Women's Championship Ronda Rousey down here. Talent on the side. You got the image of the talent on the back, of course. The bio read. And then if we didn't do a 360 look of everybody else, you got John Cena on the back. He's looking damn good there. That's the GOAT. And then we also have Bobby Lashley, like we said. And there he is in all his almighty. Looking pretty good there. I saw this man live for the... I saw him up close for the first time the other day in Birmingham for Monday Night Raw. Man is an absolute absolute unit, okay? You think you're a unit? You're not. This is what a unit looks like. I synced it. Nonetheless, man, let's crack all three of these talents out of their packaging. Find out what this Top Picks 2023 wave is all about. I think it's 2023. It might be 2024. Who gives a sh Who gives a who? Who really cares? It, it doesn't matter. Let's crack these figures out of the packaging and find out what they're about. All right, guys, so here is the full Top Picks 2023 Wave 3 set. Apparently, that's the name of it. I looked it up. It is the WWE Elite Collection Top Picks 2023 Wave 3. So they're confirming we get one like every quarter, which is pretty cool. You know, I, I like that. I think it's awesome. The more figures, the merrier for us, better for collectors. In my opinion, you know, the, the, I'm all aboard, especially when you throw my boy John Cena in here. You get a badass Ronda Rousey. You get a badass Bobby Lashley. I'm all aboard that. You know, I, I'll never complain about that. But instead of doing it how we typically do it right where we'll we'll put on the rotating base we'll bring them in we'll do the accessories we'll move on to the figure we'll do the comparisons i think what i'm just gonna do for the top picks usually i'll just step them up and we'll cover them what they come with their accessories all their stuff and just go one by one straight up right here all in one cut instead of doing you know everything like that i don't even know what you guys enjoy more do you enjoy me more just pulling them up or do you guys like the set reviews where it's like cut and dry and like everything has its own segment and everything like that i try to make it concise i try to make it clean cut and dry however let's get into it man let's start with Ronda Rousey, one that I'm actually really intrigued with. Now, for Ronda Rousey's accessories, we do get a Raw Women's Championship right here, and you guys will notice it's not like the Elite 100 Becky Lynch, right? It's still oversized. You guys can see here. Here is the Becky Becky Lynch Championship. And you guys can see it's definitely more accurate, the main plate. Like, this is a men's championship, and this is more of a women's championship here. You guys can see the difference. So, they're not quite there yet. They don't have all the details and all the bells and whistles yet, and they also don't have side plates for the women's figures just yet, but I'm sure that is coming down the line. At least, I hope so. However, 
However, we do have my previous women's championship, and it looks like they did add a gold outline to the red swoosh underneath the WWE logo, which I do like. I think that looks cleaner and better. So we do get a different take on the women's championship, but it is a Raw women's title. Now, she also comes with this rubber skirt here. It does have some details and sculpt on here, but you guys know I'm not going to use this, right? I'm just going to unclip that, you know, but it is just, she's got her small kilt or skirt on here that does clip right there. I, I'm definitely not going to be using this, but it does have like the cuts in there. And it's got some good details on it. It's just not something I really care for. And then outside of that, she comes with fisted hands, which also have like the red like grapple things right here, the red and black, like mini glove things. I don't even know what those do, but she's always worn them, but she's got mic holding hands and then she has fisted hands. And then getting into the figure itself, starting out with the head sculpt. I mean, we have seen this Ronda Rousey head sculpt multiple times. She's got the mole on there. I think the likeness is really good. I like the hair sculpt. I'm pretty sure we've seen this head sculpt many a times. I'm pretty sure it's the same one as the ultimate. Like I, I, I do believe that. Got the Roddy Piper inspired gear, of course, with the Rowdy Ronda Rousey top with the white and red. It looks really, really clean, actually. You got like a nice ombre fade from yellow to red down there. Spin around the back, you do have like the cross straps sculpted in here, which look really good. And then she has these new trunks, which I really like. You got Rousey on that side. It's got the black and it's got like these tears going through there, which I really like. She's got the double jointed arms, wrist gauntlets on there. They're not really gauntlets. They're just painted on, but then she has the double jointed knee and then she has these newly tooled shoes. I'm pretty sure they're not brand new. I think we got these on her Elite 98 figure and something else, but these are newly painted. I think we've never seen these painted like this before. So this looks really clean. I like the red and white. Very, very. As like a sneakerhead guy, I, I really appreciate these. Like any details going into the boots and shoes, you guys know how I feel about boots and stuff. And then check that detail out. On the back of her wrestling boots or shoes, it says Rowdy on there, which is really impressive. So you even get that small, minute detail on the back of the heels. Very badass right there. I love that. So I'm really appreciating that. So for your Ronda Rousey figure comparisons, here's the Ultimate Edition on the left. You have the new Elite Top picks here in the middle, and then we do have the Elite 98 right here. This one's very matte, and it feels way stiff compared to this figure right here. This figure feels really good. I don't think it feels quite as good as the Ultimate Edition. I don't know what they did with this Ronda right here, but I adore this figure. This is still one of my favorite WWE women's figures of all time. I really don't know what they were doing here, but uh, they nailed it. But I do love the new top picks. I think, you know, you guys could clearly see the resemblance. It looks very similar. I mean, this has very plain Jane compared to this one. This new one has way more details. And it does feel good in the hand. I wish they would have put Ultimate Boots on here, though. I think that really would have helped it and just, you know, repainted them. But this Ronda is pretty damn cool. I, I actually like it a lot. So this Ronda gets the job done for me. I, you know, I don't have any issues with that. She'll beat the hell out of me in my sleep. I don't think it quite is, like, I love the pinless joints and I love how clean aesthetically, like, aesthetically it looks better than the Ultimate, but it doesn't feel as good in the hand and she doesn't have the sculpted gauntlets on the wrist right there. However, dude, this is actually a badass Ronda Rousey. Best Ronda Elite by far, not even close. The Elite 65 was dog water. The Elite 98, not good. This one, easily the best one. I still think I'd take the Ultimate over this one, though. Now, getting into the John Cena figure, man, I'm not gonna get into his accessories, really, because we're just gonna take a look at it because it's on the figure already, but he does come with mic holding hands, and then his interchangeable hands are actually going to be the you can't see me hands, which is obvious, you know, why wouldn't it? But he also comes with his one-up hat. I say one-up because it is one-up inspired. You guys can see it says 16 up, which is, of course, a Mario reference or a Super Mario reference. You have the John Cena, like, cartoon or game reference in there similar to Mario or the mushroom head. That's what it's supposed to look like. And it's very cool because this gear kind of ties back way back to when to, like, early John Cena, man, when he was wearing the Super Nintendo armbands and the Super Mario armbands. He would wear the one-up. He even wore the one-up armband at WrestleMania. And, you know, that was kind of part of that. So it kind of ties back all the way back then, which is very badass. I love that. As a, as a long-time Cena fan since the beginning and to see that, you know, come back into fruition in this gear, I always love that. So we do have the red, white, and blue hat that goes on this gear. And when he first walked out in this gear, I knew immediately I wanted this in figure form. Well, of course, I'm going to do that. But you also have his Super Mario reference shirt here. John Cena, you can't see me. He's got the, you know, the flying Mario, but it's John Cena. Very badass shirt and great merch right here, man. Like, I love that. You got hustle, loyalty, respect right there. Like, very sick. It is a Velcro shirt, and it fits the figure really, really well, which is always a bonus. Now, this isn't my favorite Cena head sculpt. It is what he looked like at the time of this, though. You guys can see there, like, the fade looks really good and everything like that. I just feel like it looks a bit derpy at times, but the hat also doesn't fit all the way on. I think, you know, if you're going to display this with the hat on, I'd probably switch out the head sculpt, but if you want, you know, the, the haircut for the accurate time, definitely need to, you know, have this off because it would be accurate to have the hat off. But if you're going to put the hat on, you know, I'd switch the head sculpt. I'd, I'd probably find a better head sculpt just so the hat fits better and all that different stuff. But Elite 95 John Cena basically repainted. You know, I am going to remove the shirt right here just so you guys can see what we're working with.
with here. Classic John Cena torso. He's got the striated shoulders, which look good. He's got the never give up bicep band in here, which is accurate to the gear. Very, very cool. He even has the 16-time WWE Champion style armbands, which look really good. It's got like the 16 graphic on there, which is cool. And then on this side, it does say you can't see me. He always puts the you can't see me bands on the right side. And then usually the left side's the logos and stuff. He's got his belt in here that actually has some detail. You guys can see it actually has the like cream red and blue pattern and the black mixed in there, which looks good. Same shorts mold. It is kind of a realistic dark denim, which I like. And then it's the same, you know, knee pads and calves and shoes we've seen in the years past. It's got the black and white kicks in there. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know what I'm saying? Like why, why reinvent the wheel when you got a great perfect formula going for him? However, let's get into some Cena comparisons. So for your John Cena figure comparisons, guys, we do have the Elite 95 figure here on the left, which is basically what this figure is a repaint of. You know, same exact formula, everything about it. Same head sculpts. They just repainted the hat, did a different shirt. Very cool. I'm down for it because it, you know, fits kind of the modern take on Cena. And then we have the last top picks wave, or, you know, I think it's the last pick, top picks wave. Or no, it's the, it's the one before the Macho Man Rey Mysterio wave where it had the classic John Cena, which I thought was brilliant. Still want a new shorts and shoe mold because this one actually feels good in the hand. It gets all the jobs done. This one will fall forward and it's very stiff. This one's on ball joints though and, you know, it's kind of a different take. They changed the Cena formula depending on what the time era is. When he has the longer George, they always give him this version, but crazy. It's very crazy to see how far we've came from having the painted on, you know, armbands to having the removable ones that are sculpted. It's very cool, man. Like, so badass that they decided to do that, and it really changed the game with the Cenas, and, you know, I, I just can't wait for more, you know? You gotta have the ultimate Cena collection, so these look really badass, and I'm so glad to finally have this gear, man. I'm over the moon about it. Now, for Bobby Lashley's accessories, we do have a brand new WWE Championship, which is very, very clean, and you guys will notice he even has Bobby Lashley side plates. Now, when we first saw this figure on display, he had Big E side plates, and I think that's because this was in the works when Elite 95 Big E was coming about, and, you know, they had that Elite Bob, that Big E side plates championship. Well, now we have the Bobby Lashley championship side plates. So, Roman Reigns has Universal Championship side plates, and Bobby Lashley and Big E both have WWE championship, and then Brock Lesnar also has Universal and WWE championship side plates. So, you know, plenty of superstars they have to do, but I hope that, you know, slowly but surely we'll get championships with certain superstar side plates. But these look really clean. I'm really glad to have the side plates in there. It is accurate. It gets the job done. And they added that gold around the red swoosh again. Very great representation of the WWE Championship. I think it looks great. Outside of that, he comes with mic holding hands. The right hand is in black hand tape like we've seen before. And it has a black peg. So, you know, you ain't got to worry about the skin tone showing through. And then he also has fisted hands. So he's got the right black fist. And then the other, and then the left fist doesn't have any hand tape on there. Now, getting into Bobby Lashley, not a whole lot you can say because this is pretty much the Elite 95 Bobby Lashley redone and repainted. And it's basically the Elite 89 Bobby Lashley as well. I think the head sculpt does it pretty good. You know, I don't think they've ever made a bad Bobby Lashley, man. They do a really great job. This is a perfect representation of Bobby Lashley. The shoulders, the arms, the torso. He is a mountain of a man. He's a unit. Remember, you thought you were a unit. You're not. Okay, this is the unit. The unit Bobby Lashley. Gonna be his new pick fed gimmick. The unit. Absolutely gonna get a custom shirt made. Going down to the crotch, it does look like they made his graphics bigger and more accurate because you guys can see that it bleeds onto the crotch there. I think they could have gotten away with not putting that there, but it is significantly bigger and more accurate. Here you got, you know, the pointing silhouette on there, and then you have the almighty logo on there. And this is how big it is. Like his tights graphics are very big, but the red tights look really damn good. I really want the white and black gear now, but it's just a paint of his last elite and then he does have the black and white boots which i love i think these boots are super special awesome i think they're badass you know I, I wish we could get them made with like black and red i know we have like the batista ones but these are the newly sculpted ones i put it on my braun Strowman. definitely think that hall of champion batista boots look badass on here don't know when i'll do that but i actually have a lot of batista uh, i actually have a lot of bobby lashley figures and you know i used to clown on him and call him bobby trashley it's just because he can't cut a promo like when i was a kid bro i love bobby lashley i used to do my season mode on my you know on my WWE games with Bobby Lashley. I was a massive Bobby Lashley guy. I still like him a lot. I just don't like him on the mic. I think as a baby face, he's easy to get behind. He's just so likable. He just can't cut a promo, man. But I like Bobby Lashley a lot, actually, and I think he's a unit. Like I said, he's very toyetic. I think he looks like a superhero. Dude's a beast. While he can't cut a promo, and he's not the greatest of all time, I'm still a Bobby Trashley fan. I call him Bobby Trashley just trolling, really, but Trash Corbin, still hate him. So for your Bobby Lashley figure comparisons, guys, you have the Elite 95 over here, the new 
shot picks in the middle and then the elite 89 over here so yeah we're getting bobby lashley's fast you know I, I don't expect this to really get another bobby lashley at least anytime soon i don't think there's any in the works we haven't seen any renders or anything like that but i think we're good on bobby lashley i don't think we're really in need of an update you know you have your hurt business one you have your kind of like singles one and then you now have the red gear which is really cool but now i just need the white gear if they do another bobby if they give us another bobby soon i want the white and black gear that's what i would like to see however these bobby lashley's look damn good i think that these last three they've again they've never done a bad bobby lashley they are undefeated right now with bobby lashley and i think it'll be easy because he's a unit and he looks so e like his formula is easy bro because he literally this looks like bobby lashley in figure form i mean what do you want nonetheless man i think that wraps up this wwe elite top picks 2023 wave number three action figure review overall thoughts on it is i like it i like it a lot i like that we're getting a new rousey in here this is definitely if you guys didn't grab the ultimate rousey this is the rousey to get don't get the elite 98 things kind of garb get this one the top picks this one's very damn good i you know it's got the mdt seal of approval on it this john cena is fantastic i'm absolutely grabbing it you know if you have all the other cenas you don't need another cena you know what is it you know get, get the elite 95 it's it's updated too but you know i'm sure we'll get the respect gear that's coming soon as well you know his most recent gear that he wore and then this bobby lashley is great if you missed out on the others this is a great one to get as well do you need it i don't think so the elite 95 is serviceable even the elite 89 is serviceable but if you want that singles lashley without the hurt business maybe you want to go with the red gear but he did kind of you know he did meet with mvp you know i don't know where that's going but if i had to rank this set from worst to best it would look like this so i'd go ronda rousey at the bottom bobby lashley second and then john cena at the top of course but i you know i am a john cena mark so i mean that's where that is but if you guys would like to grab this set you can do so over at ringside collectibles using promo code md toys shout out to wrestlingfigures.com go over there for all your wrestling action figures huge shout out to them for making this review possible always greatly appreciate them that is going to wrap up this video guys thank you guys so very much for watching i enjoy the top picks waves i always enjoy the top picks waves man they're really damn good like i always look forward to it every time because i'm a guy that likes different attires different gears and different collecting different characters in a mass you know so i'm all aboard that but i'm getting the hell out of here thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy let me know your thoughts on this set down in the comment section below or any must grabs for you check out all the reviews we've posted the last few days man it seems like new action figures are hitting us in the mouth immediately in 2023 just bang bang i mean we literally legitimately that i already have like 25 new figures that have released in the first two weeks of 2023 absolutely insane and i know we got more coming anyways guys i'm getting out of here i'll see you guys in the next video have a blessed one we'll never be